For example, ako, I will I will say this. They are not appealing to the youth vote. Sinasabi natin, di ba? Sinasabi natin, majority of the voters are youth. Depending on what you call youth. Kung, kung 18 to 40, definitely majority yon. Kung 18 to 30, plurality yon ng voters, di ba? But if you were a young voter, uh, and look at all of these candidates, they do not appeal to me as a young voter. They will appeal to me as a Bicolano, Ilocano, Mindanaoan, as a human, but whatever, whatever I'm inclined to, diba? but not as a young voter. Wala naman nag-uusap dyan ng education lang. You have to remember Miriam Defensor Santiago, di ba? Corruption lang. That, that galvanized the young voter in 1992. So none of the campaign is doing that, di ba? Uh, ito, malaking, malaking area na pwede mong baguhin sana. Uh, Metro Manila, na right now, di ba, parang solidly with Marcos, but wala rin tayo nakikita nag appeal dun sa mga candidates sa, sa ano, even Scott Moreno na you would have thought na kilalang kilala niya yung Metro Manila. He is generalist. All the campaigns are generalist. Hindi sila nag appeal to specific votes that might be convertible pa. Di ba? Yeah, but, I mean, uh, say, but it's the same answer. question for Bongbong Marcos. What exactly is Bongbong Marcos saying or doing uh, that specifically appeals to the young? I mean, his, his platform is youth guarantee, eh, di ba? Nakalid na siya kasi, di ba? Mm, he doesn't have to do that kasi nakalid na siya. Okay. Nakasecure na siya ng ano. And yung secure niya, ang, ang Marcos vote, simple lang. It's Marcos and Duterte loyalist, period. Mm, di ba? Okay. Demographically, uh, sabi kasi kanina ni Bill Lavinia, no? Na wala raw target sa youth. Uh, pero uh, I just want to know, what do, what do the surveys say about how uh, well, the demographic votes are shaping. Uh, where do the young, the youth votes go or tend toward as opposed to, sabihin na natin, medyo senior votes? <laughs> Yung mga thunders. Uh, <laughs> uh, basically, sa amin kasi ang age group eh, the youth would be 18 to 24, right? In our case, uh, although some of them would say that you go up to 40 years old, but let's say just strictly the 18 to 24 age group, we don't see that much of a variance. The way that they divide their voting decision is similar to what the we well, see at the national level. Uh, so, and there's no variance also across age groups. Hindi ibig sabihin yung mas matanda, hindi bumoboto doon sa nangunguna. Hindi na iba yung boto sa kay Bongbong, kay BP Lobredo. Regardless of age group, ang pagkakahati ng boto sa age group halos pare-pareho. Hmm. Uh, pumapasok ka doon sa katanungan, meron ba talagang youth vote? Uh, mm -hmm. Meron bang women's vote? Um, ang kaalaman ko bilang political scientist, we don't have an electorate to begin with. An electorate that's conscious of their identity, an electorate that's conscious of the issues that they feel candidates or elected officials should address. That's the problem that we have in the Philippines. That wala tayong electorate. The main reason for that is because of the way that our elections are, our electoral rules are really uh, set out. It's really more personality oriented. It's a first past the post. Hindi siya issues based. Kasi yun ang sinasabi ng ni Senator Kiko Pangilinan eh. Na he's hoping kasi milyon-milyon yung nag-register na bagong butante. Sabi niya, typically daw, the youth vote, yung ganong kabatang vote, eh usually anti-establishment, meaning Mukhang non-administration. Tama ba yung perception niya ngayon? May basic ba yun? Well, meron siguro ng youth vote na ganun. No? Uh, in some, some universities, for example, I've seen the mock polls ng universities, they tend to reflect a different voting pattern from the ones that we see in the surveys. But, you know, how um, that's universe those are private universities. Those are exclusive universities. Uh, I don't know whether the state universities, the state universities and colleges would have the same results, right? Mm -hmm. Young SUCs, yeah. because you know, I don't see the polls uh, done for the SUCs. Uh, nonetheless, pag sinabi mong youth, 18 to 24, ilan dyan ang nasa pamantasan? Ilan dyan ang nagtatrabaho na? Ilan dyan ang walang trabaho at wala sa patalan? At ano mm -hmm. ang proposyon niya at sinong kanyang binuboto? Without this aggregating it, we know that the 18 to 24 age group tend to divide their voting decisions the same way that mm. other age groups mm. do. Okay. There is no differentiation. Mm.